So what I want to do today um, is explain compression and throw a little bit of expansion in there. And what I have here is regarding output and regarding gain, and we're going to be doing the same thing. We're dealing with a hearing aid that is giving 40 decibels of gain, so a full-on gain of 40. Now, to briefly, under, uh, to briefly explain why dynamic range compression, this can, this can go across uh, a couple different uh, frequency bands. I can do it across all of my frequency bands, called broadband, seeing it all as one. Or maybe I would have uh, a one-to-one -one compression ratio in my lows, but a two-to-one in my highs. Um, so even though we're just talking about compression with decibels, I could uh, do this across different frequency bands or channels, and those get intertwined a lot, which makes it confusing. But the easiest thing to start with is linear, one-to-one. -one. Linear means no compression. And linear basically means that if I have 10 decibels that is coming into the hearing aid, I'm going to allow 10 decibels to go out of the hearing aid into the patient's ear, okay? Now, a lot of times there's some gain involved with that because they need hearing aids. So in a situation like this where I have a 40 decibel gain hearing aid, uh, one to one means that when 20 comes in, I'm gonna add 40 to it and I'm gonna be at 60. If 40 decibels of sound comes in, I'm gonna add 40 to it and I get 80 because I'm doing a linear one-to-one, -one, okay? So the gain that I'm adding, which is 40, I'm gonna add it to everything that comes in. What you'll see here is an aggressive line of expansion, which is even a little more aggressive than a one-to-one. -one. <clears throat> expansion is the opposite of compression. What expansion does is it decreases soft sounds and increases loud sounds. And why you'll usually see expansion in the lower decibels is because it helps with circuit noise. If you think about it, just at zero, this is gonna be humming at 40 decibels because it's a 40 decibel gain hearing aid. And at a certain point, I might be hearing the circuit noise, which can be annoying. Expansion will help with that. The other thing expansion helps with is it keeps appliance sounds down like the refrigerator or the fan. Compression is going to be taking down loud sounds, increasing soft sounds, which helps with speech intelligibility and protects the patient from extreme loud sounds. So, now instead of going up one, over one, I'm going over two, up one. So I've just had a compression ratio of two to one. And where this has changed is called my knee point. I can have an aggressive knee point or a soft knee point, but all of a sudden it changes that now anything after 40 decibels, I no longer want to add 40 to it. I'm worried that it will get too loud. So let's skip over 60 for a second and go straight to 80. It should be easier to explain. So now at 80, it's a two to one. So instead of bringing in 40 decibels, I'm only going to bring in 20 on top of the 80, which brings me to 100. And so that is a two to one ratio. The input that's uh, coming in, I'm no longer adding 40 to it. I'm having a two to one compression on it. So it's gonna go to 20. And now this will only be played at 100. And you can see where it crosses over at 60 is why 60 is a little bit of a curveball, and it ends up landing me somewhere around 90 decibels. But again, if I'm one to one, it just means that my gain at 40 is going to be added to every decibel that comes in until a certain point, I'll change it two to one. So instead of adding 40, I end up adding 20. And then you can see how that kind of changes as we go uh, along this to make 60 at 90. So the other thing to explain is the same scenario, but what we'll be explaining it at is gain. So what's happening here is I'm adding 40 decibels of gain. And in this case, this line is called a compression limiting line. Again, in my lower decibels, I want my expansion on so I can keep my circuit noise quiet. But what happens again is at 40, I no longer want to keep adding 40 decibels to what goes above this. I want to start compressing that down. And here you'll notice that at 80, I now have a two to one compression ratio. And that means that instead of adding 40 to this, 
I end up adding only 20 to it, which will bring us to 100. It's the same thing, just a different aspect of it. And again, this crossover right in the middle of the 60 will add about 10 decibels to it, bringing me to 90. And so this hopefully is a, a simplistic way of understanding compression ratios, especially from a one to one or two to one. Um, I can increase it even more to a three to one or a four to one. And all that means is that for every four decibels that comes into the hearing aid, I'm gonna compress it so I only allow one decibel out into the patient's ear.